Today we are going to estimate quotients. To do that, we are going to use compatible numbers. Compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to compute mentally. So if we have a division problem that we needed to estimate, such as 286 divided by 7, Normally in the past, to estimate, we'd use rounding, but we're not going to do that in division, and here is why. When rounding this, we'd make 286, 300, but the whole point of estimating is to get as close to the real answer as you can in as quick a way possible. But if we have 30 divided by 7, so if we're using our information we've learned from lesson one, seven doesn't go into 30, so we can't use that trick. Seven can go into 28 and 35, but not 30. Since it doesn't go in easily or exact, this isn't going to be a quick problem. So we're not going to round. What we're going to use is those compatible numbers. So compatible numbers, once again, are numbers that you can compute easily and mentally. So since we're dividing by 7, the numbers that 7 goes into easily are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and so on. So we have this 28, and we want that to be a number that 7 can go into mentally which we already have, we have 28. So we can leave that 28, and everything after that 28 will turn into a zero. So we're going to make that 280 divided by 7, and now this is something we can do in just a few seconds. So 28 divided by 7 is 4 with a zero, which is much easier than trying to figure out 300 divided by 7, which wouldn't save us any time at all. So now that you have that, here's my first real example. 3,427 divided by 5. Once again, we're going to use compatible numbers. So I need a compatible number that 5 can go into that's close to 34. So I'm going to find the compatible numbers of 5, and the numbers that 5 can go into easily, mentally, are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So basically we're finding all our multiples of 5. And 34 is right here between 30 and 35. We want to find which of those numbers is the closest to 34. So you can go up or down. So it's four numbers away from 30 and only one away from 35. So 35 is the closest number that is compatible. So we're going to change that 34 to 35. And we have two more spots in our place value we need to fill. So just like with rounding everything after what we change, becomes a zero. So 3,500 divided by 5. Now this is something we can compute mentally easily. So 35 divided by 5 is 7 with two zeros. Here's my second example. Same thing I'm going to estimate. 268 divided by 8 we are going to use compatible numbers. The compatible numbers for 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. That's all we need. So we're going to look at the first two digits, our hundreds and our tens of 268. We want to find which of those compatible numbers is closest to 26. So what are we going to change that 26 to? So 
26 is between 24 and 32. It's two numbers away from 24 and six numbers away from 32. So we're going to make that 26 a 24. Finish our place value spots. Turn them into zeros. So we're going to change 268 into 240. 240 divided by 8. 24 divided by 8 is 3 with a 0. So our answer is 30. Here's your first practice problem. You're going to estimate 127 divided by 4 using compatible numbers. So first thing, find all the compatible numbers or the multiples of 4 and then find your answer. Go ahead and pause. So our compatible numbers are 4, 8, 12, 16. We want to find the one closest to 12, which there is a 12. So we're going to leave that 12. We need to put a 0. Divide it by 4, and that's going to equal 30. Second practice problem, same thing. Estimate 2,839 divided by 3 using compatible numbers. Go ahead and pause again. Okay, our compatible numbers of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. It's 28. One of those that's closest to 20 is 27. Fill in our other place value spots as zeros after that. Divided by 3, 9, 2 zeros. So 900. Okay. You're ready for three problems that you'll bring to class tomorrow. Number 1, 141 divided by 2. Problem 2, 1,936 divided by 6. And problem 3, 3,485 divided by 9. And you're going to estimate all of those using compatible numbers. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful day.